Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. I am going to play Cain today. I don't know, I just am going to do that. And it's gonna be good. Okay, that's a pretty interesting start. Mulligan is a one-sixth chance to spawn a kamikaze fly whenever we hit with a tear. And that, uh, of course, does twice our damage, which is pretty sweet. So now all I need is a bomb for that tinted rock, and we're off to a good start. Definitely a special item, so I'm skipping it for now. I'll come back for it at the end of the floor. Okay. So as Kane, we have extra damage. We also have the lucky foot, which makes it so that pills can't be bad, only good or neutral. And uh, we have better gambling. Pretty good stuff. Skipping the soul heart for now so I can take it to the next floor. I'm playing as though I know what I'm doing. Which, uh, well, we know that's weird, right? Of course, I'm sure I'll do something stupid much like I did last episode, sacrificing a ton of soul hearts in order to uh, take Brimstone and have a very low chance of victory because it was more fun. But, you know, it's fine with me. I'm cool having no health and uh, Brimstone with a chance of victory. Small, however small. But I probably won't take Brimstone again. That's just a thought. All right. Got it into a solid lock, and we get a tears up, which is phenomenal. So basically, this is a really good first floor, and I like that a lot. All right. Grab the soul heart, grab the mulligan. See what happens. And just a second. Sorry if that was loud, and I just needed to tilt the microphone a little bit. Oh, hopefully it doesn't even sound different, but, um, you know, what do I know? Alrighty then. Ah, sorry, I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Okay. So now we're spawning flies with a one-sixth sixth chance, and this doesn't apply, apply to fly to our familiars tiers, if we get any familiars, like Guppy does. And it also uh, doesn't turn out to synergize with Guppy so that we could spawn two flies, which sucks. I, I loved believing that and thinking it was true, which is redundant. Holy water, among the worst items in the game for sure. If we happen to get a familiar, it will uh, be transformed into Brother Bobby, the first one of course. And uh, that's garbage because Brother Bobby's not a good familiar. I don't know if that affects our special counter. Uh, like having a fake Brother Bobby as opposed to whatever other familiar we had. I wouldn't be surprised if it did, and then that means that we wouldn't be able to have the special count lower going into an item room because we wouldn't, like, we'd have the special item back going, like, once we got into the item room. I can't say with authority that it does count as having the special item, but I wouldn't doubt it. I really wouldn't. So that would suck. Um, and of course, I only take particularly good familiars, so having them transform into Brother Bobby would be really, really sucky. So it's just not an item for me, and then it has a bad effect otherwise, because of course, Holy Water isn't meant to transform them to Brother Bobby as far as I know. It just happened. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Okay, that's actually really good, because as Kane, we start with lower range, so we would like a range up. I definitely feel that was worth my key. And now let's get this fight on the road. Monstro, and it's the one that can't do a high jump. This should be pretty easy. And I seem to be spawning a lot of flies, which is awesome. Again, high fire rate with one sixth chance. That's not that bad. Like, one sixth is pretty good for this game. So, you know, that's like 17%. That's pretty good. Coin purse can't be bad, but remember, it could still be telepills, so I don't want to use it yet. Uh, yeah, I don't want Brimstone, I don't want Demon Baby. I really don't. So, let's just see what these are. This had better be health up. Range up, well that's okay, because again, we're Kane, so... Getting my range pretty high is good, and... Uh, bombs are key, didn't matter, health up was pretty good. I don't have enough money to go to the shop, but can I find the secret room particularly easily? I think yes. No. Uh, okay. Let's think about this. 
It could be there. I'm trying to get to go to the shop, so I'm trying to make this work. Book of Belial is a good item, even if it's not money, that means we don't get to go to the shop, but I do get the Book of Belial, which is pretty good. Increases our Devil Room chance by 25% just by holding it. Well, holding it when we finish the boss fight, of course. And uh, then it allows us to add two damage to ourselves. Once every three rooms, that's a really good find. Alright. So let's get on to Caves 1 and... Oh, of course. So, Greed has a 50% chance to be in our shop, which kind of sucks because I don't have good luck with that. But we do get two item rooms, we do get two bosses, we lose a devil room, which sucks. Uh, we also lose a shop, which sucks, and of course this shop could be Greed, whereas Caves 1 shop couldn't be Greed. So, it's mostly... It, it's kind of bad, and then we could be losing rooms, but generally we're getting about the same. Has 1.8 times as many rooms as your normal Caves 2, I think. And the reason that's okay is because Caves 2 should have more rooms than Caves 1. And it should all work out. Oh, okay. I still have a Soul Heart, though. So we still haven't taken Red Heart damage, and that's pretty much what matters. Don't really need that. Alright, bee lickers. Prepare to feel the wrath. Hopefully. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Bee lickers are pretty annoying and they can cheat. They can all they can glitch out of the walls too, and if that one like if one had glitched out of the wall in that particular room, I actually would have just run over. Because I wouldn't have been able to kill it and I wouldn't be able to get out because I don't have a teleport or a bomb to bomb out of the room. That would be run over. Which would be pretty frustrating, I must say. But I've never been unlucky enough to have that happen. It happens to a lot of people, though. Or, I mean, I guess not a lot of people, but if you ever check the subreddit, you'll see it every few days, and you'll be like, oh, that sucks. And yeah, it does suck. So I hope that they're fixed in Rebirth. I'm sure they will be. Cool, more bombs. So now I actually have a reasonable supply of them. That was, uh... <laughs> that was pixel-perfect dodging that I didn't even mean to do. That's okay. I'll take it. Of course I'll take it. Why wouldn't I? Sweet. All these bombs are happening, and I like it. Free Tinted Rock. I like Free Tinted Rocks. Those are the best kinds of Tinted Rocks. Alrighty then. No Small Rock, but that's alright. Two Soul Hearts is pretty good, because I was running out. Oh man, these flies are so good. Like, actually, with the, without these flies, I'd be taking more damage. Of course, this is my first special item, and it was early on, so that sucks a little bit, but otherwise, this is really good. Coin purse was also a pretty nice find. We're gonna have shop capability on this floor. It's just a matter of whether or not the shop is worth my while, because it might be greed. Still, if we get the shop on the next floor not being greed, then we're all right, too. It, it works out. So this is the hollow that drops money when you destroy each section, which doesn't happen very often. <clears throat> the spawn, I mean. It is a pretty uncommon spawn, understandably, because it's actually a champion boss that is a gain over the regular one, which is not normally the case. And yeah, it can drop nickels and dimes and everything that you could possibly ever desire. Really kind of cool. I don't know why it exists, but it does, and I'll take it. Meat doesn't uh, actually give you a tears up, but it does give you a health up and a .3 damage up. So that's pretty nice, our first damage up. Uh, I guess I'll use the Book of Belial for this fight, since I didn't for the last one. I figured that the hollow was easy enough that it wasn't really worth it. Stem Cells is a shot speed up, I'm gonna skip that. Relic, I don't like it a lot, because it's it makes the game a lot easier, but I'll take it. Gives us a soul heart every five rooms. So it's really good, and survivability is now a thing that I possess a lot of. Super greed, that's fine. Pretty much what I expected. Ah, guess I need to put some distance between me and the enemy. Okay, can you all die? I do have a bunch of range, which is good. 
All right, Super Greed's dead. Only got hit once. So it's all right. It wasn't great, but it's all right. And we have a ton of this floor left. So every time I have a room that I don't really like, I guess I'll use the Book of Belial, since I wasn't going to be using it anyway otherwise. However, in a room like this, super simple. Happy to not use the book. Not that I have the book to use, but you know what I'm saying. Bee lickers, but I have five bombs now. It's like the game heard me saying, I hope I don't get screwed over by bee lickers, and gave me the means to not get screwed over by bee lickers. I like when the game does that. So, I'm looking for the other item room, of course, as there is a second one. Man, these bombs, these bombs are real. And uh, from there, I'm hoping to get something good. With three keys, I'll totally, totally open this chest. Not really worth it. I already have a ton of money. The red heart doesn't help me at all. And uh, I don't have a ton of keys, and it didn't give me one back. So that was a pretty bad chest, but it's okay. I'll probably be fine, considering how the run's going. And it gave me another key, so that's pretty phenomenal. Okay, you calm down. Oh, the rock. I was going to be able to make it out of that if not for the uh, bomb hitting the rock, which causes it to blow up immediately. Oh well. It'll be fine. I have plenty of range, enough to make it so that they won't attack me. So I don't need to worry about this room, as long as I kill the first one, which I did very successfully. So far, I haven't not liked a room enough that it was even worth considering the Book of Belial. Kind of funny. But I'm not complaining. That is how you know you're having a good Catacombs XL. Uh, there are so many possible locations for... Uh, I never blow that up at the right time. There are so many possible locations for the seat room, although I'll say the one that I just passed is probably the most likely. I just don't know if it's four rooms from our spawn room, which is impossible. Okay, well, I'll probably try it out anyway. No. Don't blow up on the rocks. We need to not have that happen again. Okay. Wow. Feels like the relic's giving me stuff more often than normal. Finally found our second item room, which is good. Oh, I got stuck on the map. And what are we going to get in our second item room? That's the real question. Okay, and great, another key. Sweet. This run's going quite well. Oh, we're going to find Polyphemus. You know, I was thinking that, but then I was like, nah, it's probably not going to happen. Evidently, I should bring back the uh, predictions, because they go well for me sometimes. I don't know. I predict things sometimes, but I used to predict things a lot more, and they used to uh, work out sometimes. Okay, so this wasn't too far away, but ugh, fine, I'll play it to like 45 cents. Anyway, Polyphemus is really good. Makes it so that our tiers are gigantic and very damaging. Damage plus four and then times two. Pretty Fly is awesome. Uh, and if we overkill an enemy, it makes another tier that is half as damaging. That continues on in the same path. Pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I'll use one of my bombs for a soul heart. I like soul hearts. The only thing that sucks about it is that we have a very low fire rate now. <clears throat> had I had the opportunity for $3 bill, then I would have been able to get a full fire rate Polyphemus, which would be GG game. Because with $3 bill, if you have the inner eye in the room when you pick up Polyphemus, then your fire rate goes back to normal because it thinks that $3 bill is lowering, lowering your fire rate, rather than Polyphemus. So when $3 bill isn't the case, you have full fire rate. And it makes sense, because they both have the same tier lowering thing, so whichever one you have first is the one that's counting as working, and that is abusable and pretty sweet. My fire rate's actually not bad at all for Polyphemus. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the explanation behind it for anyone that didn't know. Because most of the items that lower your fire rate significantly are using the same function to do so. 
So it just checks if you have one of them. And then once you have that one, it, uh, it assumes that it's that one. So it's pretty good, like I said. Alrighty then. Wow, that was close. By the way, our flies still do twice our damage. So our, our flies are doing, like, insane damage. Oh, I'm betting that a fly ate a poop there. Probably a thing that happened. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, I can't get that key. It's fine. And the devil's the same as the Book of Belial. And the bra is really good, and I probably would rather have that than uh, the Book of Belial. Because that freezes enemies, disables their contact damage, lasts like 10 seconds, it's a 3 room charge, it's really, really good. So, that is something I will take. This room's probably honestly worth the bra. I wasn't sure if that was going to stay frozen there for a second. But then it did. Wait, okay, I, I was a little confused that I missed by that narrow of a margin. Evidently I did. Uh, yeah, I'll go to the curse room now. Wasn't worth it, that's okay. I don't feel too bad. Dang. And those don't count as champions as far as dropping something for us, which is pretty silly. Even though the other ones do. The explode the other... Um, Kamikaze leeches. Okay, that was close. So, recently discovered with uh, double visses, maybe it wasn't that recent actually, actually, but it only one side does damage of their laser. It just picks it 50-50, and the other side will not do any damage. Okay, this is definitely worth freezing. And yeah, this does disable their contact damage, so if I get the virus, that works um, so that I can contact damage them and they can't do it to me. Really good. I wish I had my item for this room instead. But it's cool. I've pretty much separated the masks from the hearts fully. And uh, one bomb for two is a good trade. I'll take the pill as well since I'm Kane. Dang it. I'm thinking that I'm like right there though. So uh, that's all right. And then I'll definitely be going to the shop, which could be a library since I did pick up the Book of Belial and that's definitely in the pool. But now we get the habit, which is pretty great. I don't really want the fool, although honestly I do because I have more than enough damage without the uh, Book of Belial effect. And with the fool, I can get a uh, chance at getting the devil room on the next floor. Or angel room, of course, since that's a thing. All right, if they get me any free keys, I'd appreciate it, but they didn't, and honestly, all right, I have 11 bombs, so I'll, I'll do it. Definitely worth it. So let's fight this boss. See that it's the wretched, immediately freeze it, and then probably instantly destroy it. Yeah, that was pretty good. And it, oh, it does spawn them, they just are in the air. And actually, I don't think I could hit them because they were above where the tiers were. Weird. So I'm pretty happy with that floor. I don't remember the item room, but whatever. Even if I missed it, <laughs> it was a good floor. So as Kane, we can't get a fortune on the fortune teller. And there's only like a 1% chance or less of getting nothing at all. So that might have been, and it might still be, a worthwhile investment of our time. But, oh, the item room was the bra. That's right. Uh, we'll see. We'll see later if I want to do that. Since it's such a good generation source of soul hearts and various things. Habit, by the way, makes it so that we uh, gain three ticks of charge for our spacebar item whenever we get hit. So two hits, full use for our spacebar item. Really good. <clears throat> kind of amazing, in fact. I don't know why I bothered to come in here. It's probably not worth my time. We're not getting the D6 until the chest at the earliest. Which means we're probably not getting it at all, of course. 
There's our shop. Eh, you know, uh, I shouldn't have frozen them there. That was pretty sucky. Alright, now we wait. Alright, cool. Then I go to the shop, which is greed. Not surprising. Thank you. Pretty fly, blocks tears, damages flies, insta-kills flies. Uh, that's pretty good. We should have an arcade somewhere on this floor, and I don't need the fool until the boss room. So I may as well carry this temperance card around. Get uh, two uses on blood donation machines for the price of one. And that may bleh, mostly means I can hopefully get two blood bags, which would be pretty good. That was really dumb damage. All right. Cool, soul heart is good. So far have not found the, the room of dreams. Left hand, I may as well take it for the rest of this floor, makes it so that chests are all red chests, which, you know, have soul hearts, guppy items. Pills, sometimes. Okay, let's, yep, I should have gotten hit, but Pretty Fly was a nice dude. Oh, this sucks. Oh my god, they're being so aggressive with their teleports right now. It's cool though, we ate it, everything's fine. Screw it, buddy. Easy peasy. Like I said though, bra really good. I'm in no hurry to go to the boss room even though I could just go right away because of the fool. I'm not likely to lose all my soul hearts, so I'm not really going to worry about it. <clears throat> so the secret room is 50-50 right now, unfortunately. Alright. Cool, that's easy. Oh, okay, they disappear. I was wondering how I was killing both of them with one shot when my damage is as it is. Pearl's really good, and higher chance of non-specific hearts being soul hearts instead. But I'm ditching whatever I have, and I think that the left hand is more likely to be beneficial. No, it's not. But it could be. It's not more likely, it's just that it could be more beneficial than the alternative that we were just offered. It's all bomb for this. Okay, it's cool. And I did get my arcade, as desired. Okay, that was still in time somehow. So I'm gonna get down to one red heart since there's a boss challenge room there. And uh, hopefully that has a health up or a damage up or something good. But I have a lot of soul hearts for protection, so it's totally cool. Can one of you give me a blood bag now? Dang. I might have to spend time gambling, which is no fun. Right, that's a health up. That's not bad. That's how I thought that would work out. Solid stuff. Wow. Alright, this is worth it. Although freezing mom would probably be worthwhile as well, I can just play the blood donation machines more. And then that'll get me another charge for my item. And all will be well. Especially with that heart drop. That's pretty good. And I can also gamble since I have 70 cents. This is when things get slow. We have a 1 in 15 chance for these to give us blood bag right now. <clears throat> wow, that was a lot of money all at once. Yet we're not getting them at all. This is happening. Much as I don't want it to, much as you probably don't want it to. I'm making this happen. Health up is a pill in the rotation as well. Good thing to consider. There's health all the way over in the mini boss room, but I don't know if I care. Oh, uh, let's try it. Could change that to a fortune teller. It didn't. If it had, well, that w oh god, I need to leave. <laughs> I don't want Skatol. I used to think that the timing from that for that was a lot tighter. 
That's the reason I never did it before. I thought, because it seemed to be that way at some point, that you had to leave the room while it was still showing you the item, not while it was spinning. So uh, I didn't do that. I didn't leave the room there uh, to prevent Skatol. Oh no. Oh, perfect spacing. That was beautiful. Alright. Pretty good. Alright, let's do a little bit of gambling now on the blood donation machines. I'm due for the item already. Can you stop that? Stop being silly. This is being silly. Oh my god. I'm gonna play these out until I get at least one blood bag. Because it's worth it. It is most certainly worth it. And so it shall be. I don't really care for the keys. They're they're good. But I have enough. I'm not getting extra chest gen generation, so... I do need to go back for the fool card anyway. Annoying as that is. But this will work out. Okay, that's a half heart. I mean, still, that's two plays, so... Alright, we're down to just the skull game. Alright, if this pays out, I'm still gonna go here, even though it didn't. Finally. Now I'll play this down. Take that. Four hearts of recovery with the health up. 0.3 speed up. Play this for the other blood bag. Quit being ridiculous. Quit it. Just give me the item. Just give me the item. Oh, game. Oh, game. I'm gonna win this fight. Especially since I know I can guarantee not getting Skatol. So, you're just delaying the inevitable. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Whoa. How did that work? That was weird. Maybe that's why I had the misconception, because it did prevent you from leaving at very specific points in time. Interesting how that works. Stop not paying out on those. That's weird. That's why I thought that, though, as we can clearly see now. Alright, come on. Please. Please, just give me hearts. They're what I'm here for. They're the only things I'm here for. I want the second blood bag. You must accept that. Come on. Yep. I'm Kane. I'm supposed to... I have, like, a 55% chance to win on this overall. Because I have two consecutive 33% chances. It literally equates to a 55% chance. And I'm not winning at all. <laughs> Alright, I mean, Soul Heart is nice. Not what I'm looking for exactly. Can you just give me the freaking blood bag. I don't know if you realize this, but uh, it's gonna happen anyway. You can make this easy, or you could make this difficult like you are. And I'd appreciate if we went with the former instead. Plenty of bombs. Still probably not looking for the top secret room. Oh, come on, don't pay out with money, pay out with hearts. Stop it. I know you want to give me that, but I don't want it. Oh, just hearts. At the moment, I don't have enough health that the Polaroid invincibility that I'd have would be worth it. Not compared to having full health. 
I don't think Polaroid Invincibility is really good. If we got like a full health pill or a like sun card or something like that, then yeah, the Polaroid Invincibility is super worth it since I have all of that health back whenever I want. Oh, look, look who decided to show up. I'm sure I'm not going to win, just, you know. But I'm doing this. I've already committed. The first time I've seen keys in a while. Yeah, I'm committed to this. Alright, I, I don't really care for the troll bomb. I mean, nor for the bomb. I have plenty of those. Alright, give me, give me this health too, and I will love you. I don't love you. I never did. I'll just do it. <sighs> this is getting ridiculous. But I can't give up now. I can't do it. This game is going to lose this fight. Good. I was worried. If that had blown the skull game up, I'd have been real mad. But at least it wouldn't have been my fault for giving up. It would have been that the game screwed me over and I didn't think it would, and then it would, uh... would have been tough to move it in time upon realizing that I was not correct, that it didn't screw me over. We can do this together, you know. This can work. This can definitely work out. I mean, I like keys, but I only want hearts. Imagine if I ran out of money. How crazy would that be? Oh, that would have been like the perfect time for the blood bag. This thing. One fifteenth chance. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means too low. Oop, all right. You can't, you can't win this fight. It's just not possible, game. Give up. So we can all move on with our lives. This is such a troll. Okay, see, this is good. Okay, good, that wasn't Skatol, so I don't really care. Oh my gosh. That's a dime. I don't need money. I need blood bags. Okay. Alright. I need blood bags. And of course, with 15 keys, I could go play that fortune teller that we know is laying around. But I'm, I'm just kind of turned off of gambling for the rest of my life. Be dead. <sighs> okay, we can do it. Oh, you didn't count as playing there. How many times must I do this? How many times must I try only to cry? It's getting ridiculous. Oh, don't want that. That's really weird, how that works. Like, right at the end, doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh my god, you are just so ridiculous. This is... It's worth it. But I'm only doing it out of stubbornness at this point. This is like, oh my god. It's a basically free health up and lots of recovery and speed up, but like, it shouldn't take this long. This is the craziest blood donation machine to ever exist. Thanks for paying out with keys and not with uh, hearts when I need them. As if on cue. Alright. 
That's bombs. That's not uh, hearts. Alright, you. I'm just gonna play for a little while. <sighs> now. Can we please. <laughs> Can we please move on with our lives? I just want to be happy. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. This is stupid. Already got that heart. This is 100% stupid. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is since I have golden key, open those because they're like poops and can drop things for me take that soul heart but I didn't actually care to play that grab my fool card grab the health that's in here why is everything a half heart but I need it to be a full heart and then go onwards son lovers is really good all right so that's uh that's pretty much what I was hoping for as far as a payout, that's pretty good. Now, please just let me, let me win in peace. All I want's a blood bag. And you can do that, I know. I know you can. There's nothing preventing you. Thank you. Did that have to be so difficult? Now, all right. I'll fight the boss. We'll see if I'm going back for that uh, fortune teller. Might be worth it to try and get a good card. Oh, I mean, may as well open that. All right. Mom fight, hair to get recce. Can I freeze the foot? Yeah, I sure can. Was it worth it? I don't know. I mean, it's as worth it as any other freeze on this fight would be, I guess. Ow. And the fight's about to be over. Okay, just give me the foot. GG. Shout speed up. Definitely skipping that. See if we got a devil room. Or angel room, of course, and see what's in it. If it's there. Devil room, alright. Which we find the pack in the mark. Definitely into that. Packed is 0.5 damage, 0.7 tears up, and two soul hearts. The mark is one damage up, 0.2 speed up, and one soul heart. I did just sacrifice four health. I had eight, apparently. Yeah, that sounds right. I will play this down to 70 ish cents. Emperor is really good. Flat penny, I know. No, 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 no. I must have only the Polaroid. I'm really fast. So this is going to take a little bit getting used to. But I have a lot of damage and a pretty decent fire rate for Polyphemus. So that's that's what I'm in it for. Minute to win it? No, I'm not. I'm not in this game to win. I've won this game more than enough. It's just for fun now. The outlines on the tiers are getting pretty big, which is always a good sign that fun is about to uh, ensue. Oh, give me the Polaroid. Gah. Okay, okay, we made it. We made it there. I mean, honestly, at this point, it's pointless to play this because I can't really get things if I want them. So I'm just going to leave, having gotten a lot of trinkets out of the rotation still that means that we're more likely to see the tick so I do have to be ever vigilant so let's get out of here I think that this is going all right at the moment we have a bunch of damage thanks to the pact in the mark we still have the relic giving us soul hearts we have no compass or map which kind of sucks However, it's not a big deal. Wow, the flies... I mean, since it takes two hits to kill them, yeah, I would imagine that the flies would one-hit kill them. That would make some sense, right? 
And yes, I did just shoot that tier backwards by moving so quickly. That is a thing that happens. I was hoping we'd see growth hormones. Or in reality, the virus would be really good because it'd be a small speed down and my speed is ridiculous. Wow! And because with the bra, it's just insanely good. So I, that would be the thing I want the most. That was a normal old red chest, nothing to do with my trinket since I have the Polaroid. Uh, what I'm looking for... <clears throat> I don't know. Oof, that was close. What I'm looking for... No, what I'm waiting for to use the... Um, Emperor is the Cathedral. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. One bomb for one bomb, chance for a Tinted Rock. So, worth... Completely worth... Since we can't tell tinted rocks from regular rocks in the Wu Man Utero. Okay, good. I was gonna say, please be the right way. That would be most convenient. I was also gonna say that if it took more than two hits to kill that uh, baby, I'd have been salty because they shouldn't have more health than, oh, than our buddies. The um. Things. Ah, I hate conquest, which is why I'm bombing it very. Nope. I mean, I don't. Realistically, I should probably take the white pony. What I will do with it is take it into the curse room to save me one hit so that I can go to the curse room. No, I can't charge out in order to take no damage. That doesn't work. See here, watch. See, I get stuck at the door. Oh, okay. Well, I do get stuck at the door. That was me apparently misspacing it by pixels. But you get stuck at the door and have to wait for your invincibility to end anyway in order to uh, leave. So it's pointless. Ooh, that was a close one. Don't need these half hearts. Oh, I can't fly. I don't need the full hearts either, game. You're you're just taking what I say and taking it too literally in a manner that allows you to troll me. And I don't appreciate it. That was close. Range up sure. I mean, yeah. Really, definitely, yeah. Death. Um, I almost used it by accident. Used the uh, Emperor, that is. Death, get out of the way. Stars, I can't really get out of the way because it'd be a random teleport and I'm not too fond of that. Mr. Mega's pretty good. Five more bombs, increased blast radius and damage. And then we can hopefully use that pretty effectively against, say, uh, Isaac. Health up. That allows me to use the half hearts that are chilling there. Well, one of them, so that I have optimal health. Then we can go onward towards victory. These flies, man. You can do it, fly. Again, one bomb for one bomb. Oh, I didn't need to leave the room with that one. I forgot I had Mr. Mega already. But you can't increase the blast radius of Mr. Mega Bombs. That's just not something that works because Mr. Mega Bombs are the highest blast radius tied with troll bombs. Ooh, random soul heart. Yeah, it doesn't look like a Mr. Me Mega Bomb same blast radius as it had before. No big deal. Okay. Easy peasy. Can't go there because I have way too much health. It's alright, I don't need it. Whatever it's offering is not important. 69 cents, we've hit the magic number. Okay. Lumps are a time that's pretty worthwhile to use uh, the bra just for convenience. Sweet. 
Uh, that's definitely worthwhile, since I have 40 bombs and not 40 keys. Oh, you don't say. Can double play him. Alright, what is this? This is range up, okay. There are two range up pills, since one would have been ranged down, had we not had the lucky foot. The fool. No thank you, and now I can't extra play it, which is fine, because we just got tough love, my god. Tough love, one-tenth chance to fire a tooth instead of a tear. Tooth does 3.2 times damage compared to the regular tears, and the chance to fire a tooth is affected by luck. So now I have Polaroid Invincibility, but mostly I have Tough Love, which is pretty cool. Don't get that very often. Alright, so we're good to go to the Cathedral. Alright, I didn't really care about the money, I just wanted to see if I could get an item there since I have plenty of keys. And then, uh, you know, just roll with things. Oops. A little faster than I need to be. Just using bombs offensively here, because why not? That should still hit. Yep. Solid. Don't want that hard, I guess. I guess. And then let's see what you've got for me. Three items that I don't really care about, but we'll take because why not, and one item that's just bad. Comparatively. So infestation means when we get hit, we'll spawn a kamikaze fly, or two. And uh, the forever alone attack fly means that we can... Okay, you know what? You're getting frozen. Um, we can hit with that long distance attack fly, two damage per hit, hits every couple frames, really good if you are willing to take all of the damage that you're likely going to for using it offensively. And x-ray vision allows us to go in and out of secret rooms and top secret rooms without having to worry about stuff. You don't have to worry about bombing in or anything or looking for them, they'll just, we'll know. My teeth are pretty large when I do shoot them. That's always a nice thing. I mean, they're okay, I've had better. Alright, so this room sucks. But... It went totally alright. I am gonna wait for that pill. Bombs are key. Now I'd rather have more bombs. Eh, you know what? Screw that. You're not invited. Pestilence will be dead soon as well. Oh, I didn't realize that we wouldn't be able to see the phase change. Alright, let's check it out. No. Yeah, I didn't know we wouldn't be able to see the phase change. Okay. Since he was frozen. Oh my god. Freeze these jerks. Oh, okay. I mean, that's fine. And no, our flies are not affected by teeth. Ugh. Wow, that's a lot of damage from teeth. Uh, they will not be affected by teeth. This is not a guaranteed victory. This could be pretty bad soon. This is definitely worth freezing. Wow, tooth one shot. Alright, solid. No reason to leave this room early. It's not one of the rooms that could be affected by a reevaluation. It's just a room that kind of sucked. Can't afford to take as much damage as I am. I didn't know there was a spider there, actually, so I don't feel bad about it. It just sucks that it happened there. Dad's key is pretty worthless to me. Alright, I'm hoping that this is the way to the boss. Dang it! Get out of here, game. Alright, we're good. Just have to wait for it to unfreeze so those can disappear. Soul Heart's pretty big. Poops. Yes, I remember the poops. Alright. Nope, not doing it. 
I'd like to kill Gluttony last. That would be the ideal circumstance. Okay, Greed's dead, so now we kill Gluttony last. Didn't really help us, and I don't want the Magnet, that's for sure. This is a doable room. We're gonna have the Bra for the next room, no matter what, pretty much. I think we can pull this off. Alright. Let's go for it. Alright, so let's do this. And then just kind of shoot intermittently and immediately. I, uh, whatever. Dang it. Alright. Yeah. Gross. Freeze some fools again. Solid fight. I liked that run. That was a fun run. I hope you did as well. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.